it is this one this is from speed time distance a uh, long question uh, it's, it's a complicated looking question but it's probably not that difficult to solve i'm going to go over this consider a square a b c d e f g h is another square obtained by joining the midpoints of the sides of the square a b c d where e f g h are midpoints of a b b c c d and d a. at least the naming is standardized lakshman and kanika start from points b and d respectively at speeds l and k and travel towards each other along the sides of the square a b c d they start at either ends of the diagonal and then move towards each other along the squares sides of the square jagdish starts from point e and travels along the square e f g h so he is travelling in the inner square in the anti clockwise direction at j kilometers per hour lakshman and kanika meet for the second time at h where jagdish also meets them for the first time if l is to k is to j is 1 is to 3 is to 5 root 2 then the distance traveled by jagdish is this question is going to use two parts geometry and one part just visualization we're not going to do much distance by time equal to speed this is a this is a question that's woven around like a puzzle if you can crack how they are moving towards each other then you through through this question there'll be practically nothing to solve in this question fine so i'm going to draw this diagram a b c d kanika starts at d lakshman starts at b they meet for the second time at h for the time being i'm going to forget jagadish so simplifying this question, I'm going to assume side of the larger square is 2a. So this would be a, this would be a. So this is root 2a. Side of the smaller square is root 2a. All of these are a. Now Lakshman and Kanika meet for the second time at h. They move towards each other. So we could have a scenario where Kanika moves like this and Lakshman moves like this. Or Kanika moves like this. And Lakshman moves like this. Let's evaluate both and then first find out which direction they are moving at. Right? Lakshman to Kanika, the speed is 1 is to 3. Kanika is thrice as fast as Lakshman. So if, if Lakshman went like this and Kanika like this, then Kanika would travel thrice the distance before Lakshman travelled 1 unit. And so for the first time they would meet from B to D, the distance is 4A. They would meet at this point for the first time. Now, for the second time, the total distance that they have to cover is 16a, because they have to 8a, sorry, because they have to cover the entire square. So, Kanika would travel 6 and Lakshman would travel 2, or Lakshman would go here and move here to G. Kanika would do an entire round and come back to G. So, they would meet for the second time at G, which is not what our question is saying. Our question says they meet for the second time at H. So what this tells us is that Kanika should have been moving like this and Lakshman should have been moving like this. Let's simplify that also. Let's verify that if Kanika moves from D to B via DAB, she is moving in the anti-clockwise direction. That means for the first time they would meet at E. Kanika would have traveled 3A, Lakshman would have traveled just A. For the second time, Kanika would proceed on and come all the way till h so she would end up totally traveling 9a to lakshman's 3a the ratio is 1 is to 3 which is what we've been given fine so we've established one simple thing kanika is traveling in this direction and lakshman is traveling in this direction very simple right. now we need to find how much jagadish travels jagadish starts from e and then moves in the anti-clockwise direction. And then he also meets them at H for the first time. When they meet for the second time, he meets them for the first time together. Now, think about this. We can find out how he meets, when he meets, their speeds, all of that. Right? Think about this more simply. We need to find how much Jagdish is traveling. That's all we need to find. The ratio of Lakshman to Jagdish speed, L is to J, is 1 is to 5 root 2. I'm just taking Lakshman to Jagdish. I could have taken Kanika to Jagdish. It won't matter. The distance is travelled by them in the same unit of time will also be in the same ratio. So if L travels 3A, how much would J have travelled? 3A into 5 root 2 or 15 times A root 2. 
it's nothing but 7 and a half times 2a root 2 or 7 and a half times 7.5 into root 2 times side of the larger square. Once we find how much Jagdish has traveled in terms of a, let's throw this question. How do we find that? We know how much has Lakshman traveled, that is 3a. He moves in this direction, a, a, 3a. In the same time, Kanika travels 9a to reach h. So, Lakshman has traveled 3a, how much will Jagdish travel? 3a into 5 root 2. The ratio of their speed is 1 is to 5 root 2. This is 3a, 3a into 5 root 2, which is 15a root 2. So, you know 15a root 2, finding one of the answer choices is very straightforward. Right. Wonderful question, but a question that practically does not involve anything related to distance by time equals speed, relative speed, average speed, none of that. This is a visual question where it is kind of two unit geometry and one unit logical reasoning puzzle and then we simplify and solve that there's practically no speed time distance in this and lots of speed time distance questions come overlaid on geometry ideas and right? so you must stay on top of that